Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're doing something a little different, doing a quick brush review of the Rosemary & Co. Uh, what are these? Series 33 brushes, which are supposed to be equivalent to the Winsor Newton Series 7, so I guess it's more of a comparison than a review. Now, those of you that don't know, for both my miniature and actually some of my model painting too, I'm an avid user of the uh, Winsor Newton Series 7 brushes. I love these, I've been using these for years and years and years. And a viewer of mine was kind enough to send me a bunch of the Rosemary and Co. brushes to try out and to compare and to see what, what I think of them. Uh, these are Kalinske Sable, just as the Windsor Newton are, and they're supposed to be equivalent to the Windsor Newton ones. So I've kind of, I've used these on and off for the last few days um, between, uh, you know, when I'm painting on stream and just, just painting off stream for myself, so on and so forth. So I feel like I have a decent idea of these now. And so I figured I'd, I'd do a quick little little talk through to let you guys know what I think of them, and, and so on and so forth. Now, first and foremost, let me begin with price point on these. These Rosemary & Co. brushes are about a third of the price of the Windsor & Newton equivalents. Um, that alone that alone is a huge selling point for these brushes. That said, are they worth it? Um, are they worth the fact that you're paying one-third less or are you getting what you pay for? Uh, let me start out... Let me start out with the negatives first. Because I feel like that's going to be easier because there's a lot fewer of those than there are the positives. So, number one, these are thinner than their Windsor & Newton compatriots. So just to give you guys an example, this is a Rosemary & Co. size 3 to my regular Windsor & Newton, or sorry, Rosemary & Co. size 2, my bad, to my regular Windsor & Newton size 2 that I always use. To, this is my go-to brush for my miniature painting. Hold on a second. Make sure there's a tip on these. And here's the difference. The Rosemary & Co. is on the right, the Windsor & Newton is on the left. They are a lot thinner. There's a lot more bulk to the Windsor & Newton, which means it can hold more paint, and it can also hold more moisture, therefore well, your, paint won't, your, your paint on your brush will go further with the Windsor & Newton than it will with the Rosemary. The other point I want to make... Oops, sorry, 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 shaking shit. The other point I want to make on these is the Rosemary's are actually, the points on the Rosemary's are a lot better. As you can see, the Rosemary point on the brush is a lot pointier than the uh, Windsor & Newton. Um, my second observation with these are the actual handles on here. The Rosemary's are thinner right here which is the way I hold the brush. They're a lot thinner. They're also a lot lighter. The Windsor & Newton ones are thicker here, and they're weighted differently, so they feel heavier in the hand. Now, since I've been using these Windsor & Newtons for going on at least 10 years now, I'm used to that. So for me, using this for a few hours was a big deal. This Rosemary brush was a big deal because it was harder to get used to the thinner handle and the lighter handle. It just felt different to me. It didn't feel like it was weighed properly, if that makes sense. It's not a huge deal, um, but to me it made a difference, basically. Those are, those are pretty much the only negative things I can say about these brushes. These being smaller than the Windsor Newtons, I actually didn't use the size 2. Uh, to, to as far as as far as what I tried out, I ended up using their size three because the Rosemary size three is much closer to the Windsor Newton size two. Windsor Newton on the right, Rosemary on the left. Uh, the size three Rosemary is still thinner, as you can see, but it is much closer size wise to the Windsor Newton. So I actually ended up using the Rosemary size three. In, uh, in, 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 in place of my Windsor Newton size 2. So, now let's get to the good parts of this. Um, 
Let's try a couple of things out here first. As far as the actual spring on the brush, if that makes sense, which, which is basically where we get our brush control from, it felt absolutely no different than the Windsor Newton did. Um, it behaves the same. I retain the same control with this brush. I felt like I was retaining the same control with this brush as I was with my Windsor Newton Series 7. So no issues there. Now, as far as actual paint application goes, um, I'm kind of trying to keep this as scientific as possible. I, I know it's not easy, but I have a piece of plastic card here. A piece of white scrap plastic card. And I'm going to use Vallejo Game Color um, turquoise on this. Usually use scale 75 paints um, using game color on this because I know it's it's more popular basically amongst painters, amongst modelers and so on. Vallejo paints are more popular so I figured I'd use this as a comparison. So I'm going to shake this up and let's do let's do two separate dots of paint on each side here. Let's go in with the Windsor and Newton first. This is my Windsor and Newton size 2. Let's go in here. And let's try spreading this paint, as you can see, like that. I'm going to do the same. So I can grab my water here so I can clean my brush out right away. So I have the paint drying on it. Now, I'm going to do the same with the rosemary one here now. Actually, let me do this as well. Put a funky R here for rosemary. And put a funky W here for Windsor. Okay. So, let's talk about this. Because this is where I found the biggest difference. Which was actually a pleasant surprise. Granted, this isn't dry yet, but it's good enough for us to talk about. Windsor and Newton, as you see as I went down here and actually spread the paint out, has a very, has a more or less an uneven spread. So like it started to get uneven here already, evened out here, but down here it's, it's quite uneven. Rosemary on the other hand, pretty much stayed even throughout the entire pattern, throughout the entire application. And that was the biggest surprise for me, because it's a much thinner brush. I figured the less bristles, the more uneven the application would be. The biggest surprise of this for me was the fact that the rosemary actually has a very even, uh, very even dispersion pattern as far as, as far as where you're applying the paint, and how evenly it covers. As you can see here, what I'm doing now how even the coverage is. Now let me do that again with the Series 7 brush on the other side here. And I'm not applying any more or less pressure to both of these, so it's the same amount of pressure that's being applied on both of these. See what I mean? As far as this application isn't as even, while this application is much more even the, the whole way down basically so I was very pleasantly surprised with these brushes so going back to the price point on these these are one-third of the price of a Windsor & Newton brush literally one-third so you can get these for like seven eight dollars while a Windsor Newton is like twenty to twenty-five dollars, depending what you're getting, where you're getting it. So, uh, I know this is a short video, but when it comes down to it, I would whole wholeheartedly recommend this. If you're looking to start using Kalinsky Sable brushes to upgrade your brushes, do not hesitate to get these Rosemary. These are excellent, and I mean absolutely excellent just as good, if not better, than Windsor & Newton. Um, as, as far as what you're getting for, for the price, again, if the price of the Rosemary's was the same that the Windsor & Newton's, or vice versa, then 
then I'd recommend the, the Windsor and Newtons overall because it's what I'm used to. Not to say that these are worse, but it's because of what I'm used to as far as like we talked about the uh, the weight on the handle and the, the thickness, the girth of the handle itself. As well as the fact that the Windsor and Newtons one are thicker so they hold, hold more moisture and more paint in them. So it, it, you can basically work with your paint longer with the Windsor and Newtons than you could with these without having to reload your brush. But the fact that these are one third of a price there's no question that you should be getting these brushes over Windsor & Newtons if you're trying to decide which ones to get. Me, I am set in my ways, unfortunately, so I will be sticking with my Windsor & Newtons because I, I don't feel like relearning, just getting reused to like the girth and, and so on and so forth. But, again, if you're thinking about upgrading to Kalinsky Sable brushes and, and you're trying to, to decide between these two, hands down, no question, Rosemary, go for it. It's just, it's not even, it's not even close, not even a contest, like just because of the price difference. So I hope this helps those of you guys that were, were thinking about switching over, that were thinking about upgrading, so on and so forth. I hope this kind of makes it a little, a little clearer of uh, the differences between one or the other um, and yeah I mean I'm very 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 pleasantly surprised with these rosemary brushes I didn't think I would be I thought I would be I, I thought I'd be set in my ways and I basically thought I'd be saying that they're you know you get what you pay for kind of deal them being as cheap as they are uh, how I was very 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 pleasantly surprised of how good these are um, anyways as I said I hope this helped I hope this kind of helped to answer somebody's, uh, if any of you had questions on these. If you guys enjoyed, let me know. And uh, yeah, this was a short one. So uh, until next time, thanks guys.